Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Pandora's Astrology's monthly horoscope for July. This month, there's going to be some high drama for you because we've got two eclipses, a solar eclipse in your second house of money and a lunar eclipse in your house of intimacy. And then we've also got Mercury going retrograde. So there's a lot going on. Let's take a look. Here's the solar eclipse. It happens on July 2nd. And solar eclipse is a time when you're confronted with your shadow, usually in a way that others can see, that is like an outer world way. And this is happening in your second house, which is the house of money, personal possessions, and physical security. So um, be prepared for something dramatic to happen in your finances. And this may really give you the, the big neon sign saying that you've got to get more organized with your money. And I think, I think Julie is going to have something else to say to you about that with Mercury retrograde. But I want to let you know also that later in the month, around the 16th, watch that moon as it travels around. And here it is. It arrives in your eighth house where it opposes the sun. And this is the lunar eclipse. Now, a lunar eclipse is also an occasion for looking at your shadow, but it's more emotional. And I've heard it called an emotional roto rooter. It really stirs things up. And this one is happening in your eighth house of intimacy. Now, intimacy takes three forms. There's physical intimacy, and that's sexuality. There's emotional intimacy. Who do you trust? And there's financial intimacy. Who do you share money with? And in any of those areas for you, Gemini, there could be a really big explosive emotional upset that happens around the 16th of the month. So um, you might want to time your financial conversations with your partner pretty closely this month. Julia, what do you have to say? Hey, Gemini. So this month, there's going to be some planetary activity in your third house, and that's actually the natural house of Gemini to um, modern astrologers. It's the house that has to do with communication at large, um, and it also rules siblings, neighbors, uh, your neighborhood in general. Uh, but Mercury is going to be going retrograde in this house this month, and that means you're going to you might have to rethink and redo some of your communications with others this month, especially because Mars is also in this house all month um, and that Mars being a planet of activity passion also a little bit of anger too um, you have to kind of watch out for making sure your words aren't a little bit too sharp towards others um, so Mercury will be going retrograde at around the seventh and then um, it's going to be entering the second house of your finances on the 19th. So then your mind might be turned to more financial considerations, like rethinking your budget or rethinking, um, yeah, rethinking budget in general. Uh, Mercury is also strongly associated with the sign of Virgo. Um, and Virgo is a very sort of hygienic, cleanliness-oriented sign. So uh, a lot of your spring cleaning also, Gemini, uh, might have to might have to be a lot of clearing out of your sentimental uh, items because uh, Mercury is going to be going into the sign of Cancer as well. Natha, what do you think this month? Hi, Gemini. So let's talk a little bit about Venus. So, you know, Jamie mentioned that you might have some uh, drama in finances. And Julia also mentioned some things along the same line of this idea of cleaning and getting rid of what is not serving you any longer. And I would say that Venus enters into the second house on the third, and it stays in the second house all the way until the 27th. So for the bulk of the month, Venus is gonna be in your second house, which is house of possessions, house of abundance, house of things that we consider to be our, our things, and, and you know our ability to generate abundance. That means money, that means health, that means anything, even love. Um, so, you know, this is a good month on one hand to ask for raises at work, um, to really get your finances in order. And a lot of times we have to get rid of the old in order to really get streamlined and um, get organized. So I encourage you this month to, in amongst everything else that's going on, to really give some thought and some attention to your uh, money, to your possessions, to those things that you have to um, incorporate into your life every single day. Jamie? Well, isn't that just the way 
astrology is the very best system for re reflecting our own human complexity to us. And boy, is this a great example. We've got financial uproar. We've got, um, you know, um, messes. We've got the need to clean up your budget. We've got fights with your spouse. <laughs> and we've also got, you know, potential raises. So, yep, life is complicated. That's how it is. So that's all we have for you today, Gemini. Thanks for watching. Look for our August horoscope next month, and we'll see you around the cosmos. Bye. Bye.